going on guys? Welcome back to United View. Hope everyone is doing very well, having a good Thursday and I wanted to give you a bit of a short, sharp, sweet Manchester United transfer news update when it comes to the goalkeeping situation right now involving Andre Onana, Inter Milan, Manchester United, David De Gea, cryptic tweets. There's a lot going on when it comes to the man between the sticks for United next season. So I wanted to give you the facts, the latest news and get right out of it. Short, sharp, sweet, just give you the information and then we can discuss it at a later date. No opinions here, just facts. So there has been a story that's been written by Melissa Reddy over the last couple of hours or so here in the UK over this past lunchtime and it's very interesting regarding this ongoing dialogue between Manchester United and Inter Milan and a possible compromise for Andre Onana and a transfer for the Cameroon goalkeeper this summer. Now according to Melissa Reddy from Sky Sports Manchester United remain in dialogue with Inter Milan as they work to find a compromise over the fee for Andre Onana which could be in the region of 45 million pounds inclusive of add-ons. Now when it comes to Inter Milan's valuation for their goalkeeper, reportedly that's 51 million pounds and their public stance has been that he's going to remain at the club unless that figure is met by any potential buyer, Manchester United or not. Of course, United did put an opening bid in earlier this week. It was a verbal bid and it was £38.5 million. It was very quickly rejected. But according to Sky Sports, sources close to Andre Onana believe there is a desire from all of the parties involved here, that being Manchester United, Inter Milan and Onana himself, to reach a compromise, to reach a resolution before Onana is due to report for Inter Milan's pre-season. Now, their pre-season actually begins a week today, July 13. So there is hope that we can reach a resolution within the next week or so and once this impasse regarding the fee is met and the compromise is met which there is a positive feeling that it will be met then this one could happen fairly quickly in addition to that according to Melissa Reddy from Sky Sports Andre Onana has also made clear his intention to move to Manchester United and also reunite with his former Ajax manager Eric Ten Hag so not only is there a willingness from everyone involved to get this done Onana's also stated his desire to get the move done to Inter Milan themselves. Sky Sports News are also reporting that they have been told that there is, as I mentioned, optimism, a proposal of around £40 million up front plus £5 million in add-ons could get the deal over the line. Now, they don't say which side that's coming from, but certainly there is optimism. As I mentioned, a deal's there to be done. Fabrizio Romano had said it previously. David Ornstein had said it previously. Sky Sports are now saying there is a deal to be done here, and there is optimism that a proposal of £40 million up front plus £5 million in add-ons could get this deal done, as I mentioned, within the next seven days or so. United, of course, have been really, really strong on not bending their price points on their targets this summer, as we've seen with Mason Mount signing him for £55 million when initially Chelsea's asked price was much higher. Now, when you factor in all of these different elements here, you've got Onana's desire to join the club, plus his suitability for and understanding Eric Ten Hag's demands for the position. It has made Onana, according to Sky, their top goalkeeping target this summer for Manchester United. But you never know what can happen in football, I guess. So despite confidence and optimism that a deal is here to be done. Manchester United, according to Melissa Reddy, continue to do their due diligence on other options such as such as Justin Bailow from Feyenoord, David Rea from Brentford and Diogo Costa from Porto all having been watched, scouted and monitored in case this common ground with Inter Milan cannot be found but as I mentioned, there is a general feeling that there is a deal to be done here and a compromise can be met. Dharma Chef from Sky Sports also said, and I quote, It looks like Manchester United's two priority positions are goalkeeper and striker now, where the goalkeeper situation sits on the priority list, seems to be fluctuating nearly every single week with David De Gea's future so uncertain. He's obviously now out of contract, but we've been told dialogue remains open between the club and De Gea over a new contract. Bear that in mind because we're going to talk about De Gea in just a second. But he continues by saying, But United, as any big club would do in that situation, are doing due diligence on other goalkeepers and they have now made a move for Inter Milan's Andre Onana. There is a gap in valuation though with Inter Milan understood to want 60 million euros, which as I mentioned is 51 million pounds. There is a feeling that a compromise can be struck, but if it can't, United will look at alternatives to Onana while the De Gea situation is lurking in the background. As for Atalanta striker Rasmus Hoyland, a gap in valuation exists in that deal too, but United are continuing to work on it. Now I did mention 
mention David De Gea there as well because David De Gea has been tweeting again. Now, he had tweeted a few days ago. Was it last week? I forget when it was. Um, and it was just an emoji. And it was a yawn emoji. Oh, so tired David De Gea was. Now, we didn't know what he was tired about. It was around the time that, at that period of time, it was June 28th, his contract with United hadn't officially expired just yet. Was he tired of the rumours? Was he tired of the speculation? Was he tired of Manchester United? What was he tired of? There were reports to suggest that maybe he was tired of just the noise, the speculation. He was going to get married and he was just tired of everything that was surrounding him, the chaos that was surrounding him and his Manchester United future. Well, De Gea's been back on social media today and despite threads, being launched by Meta. He's back on Twitter and this time he's posted a different emoji. The emoji he's posted this time is someone juggling. Now again, we don't know what he's juggling at this point. We don't know if he's suggesting that all of this is a circus. It's a circus what's going on with me. We don't know if he's juggling contract offers. One thing is for certain he's being very vague and very uh, cryptic on social media right now as his future also at Manchester United is very vague and very cryptic right now. As of right now, he is currently a free agent, as Darmash mentioned from Sky Sports and the likes of others, Romano, Ornstein, etc. They've all said that the dialogue does remain open between Manchester United and David De Gea, and this week was seen as a big week in terms of, in terms of assessing what his future was going to look like. Uh, as of right now, I believe he's not back at Old Trafford, or Old Carrington rather, for the pre-season training that does begin today. I would assume he would be back next week. We'll have to wait and see. But I would like to know your thoughts on this. What do you think David De Gea is referring to? What do you think David De Gea is talking about? What do you think David De Gea is hinting at when it comes to the new juggling emoji? Is that where we're at? We're talking about someone posting emojis on social media. Juggling. What is he juggling? Is he just talking about offers or is he saying that this is a circus? And also, I would like to know your thoughts and opinions and comments, as always, regarding the Andre Onana situation. Now, now, as I mentioned, that there is a compromise to be met and there is optimism that this can get done. How quickly do you think this does get done? For a bit of comparison, of course, Onana is 27. Uh, in terms of Serie A last season, the goals conceded per 90 minutes was one goal in comparison to David De Gea's 1.13. The XG on target against per 90 minutes was 1.09 for De Gea, 0.81 for Andre Onana. Saves per 90 minutes, David De Gea had 2.66. Andre Onana had 2.58. The save percentage is quite interesting here. In the Premier League, David De Gea had a save percentage of 69.9%, whereas Andre Onana had 71.8%. So as I mentioned, guys, the question then becomes, do you think this deal will get done? What are your thoughts on David De Gea? And when, if Onana does indeed, this compromise is met, when do you think this deal does get done? Let me know your thoughts, as always, in the comment section below. Keep an eye out for plenty more UV content on the horizon. As I mentioned, plenty of transfer news happening right now. So stay tuned because you never know... When we're going to go live, our video is uploaded. Peace!